Hey guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys um how to add old curses from 2000 like 11 and 2006 or something. I don't remember, but I'm gonna uh, show you guys how to add it with scripting. Now I already have a window opened. Um, as you could see on the bottom, I don't know if you could see, but whatever. Um, everything still is just like the same as last time. Have my uh, teleportation button here. I probably will show you guys how to do it next time. Maybe I'm not sure, but uh, no chances taken. Um, so the first thing you have to do is go to start GUI. Click on um the plus little plus button here and go to screen GUI. Now we're gonna um name this screen GUI uh cursor I I think I spelled it wrong but whatever I'm just gonna name it um old C there you go that sounds better and now um the next thing you have to do is um <clears throat> enter a local script and now you could see here you have to delete these and now, uh, after that, you're pretty much all set for the journey, except you still need to enter some scripting, obviously. That's uh, true anyway. Um, so the first scripts you have to do is... Let's see. Oh, yes. Local reset player um <clears throat> player gui equals false and then now you skip ahead and no shoot uh, now you skip another line and then you do local player equals game oh, why do I keep spelling these wrong game um dot player players dot local um local why do I keep typing these wrong I, I don't even know why anymore um, anyway, local player, <clears throat> and yes, but it's not over yet. It's going to be like a really long script, and now you do local mouse uh, player get mouse and parentheses. Why do okay, whoops, and now the next thing you do is you go to five, <clears throat> and then um, you have to type in local dot no, not dot um, space c h a r char equals n i l nil, and then the next one, um, local. Disk or chin um equals script um this and wait wait for for Child parentheses. Um, these two dashes. I don't know what they're called because I don't. I can't remember it. This. Oh shoot. Disk. And um, now next thing you have to do is lo local. Local. Um, this.
next local distance <clears throat> distance equals 55 and then local and <clears throat> oh wait e bold enabled true no it's actually equals true oh my goodness okay local earth um cursor equals script dot pa uh, parents and wait back here and so apparently my uh my recording software apparently had like some sort of problem so i couldn't record the entire thing for some reason and i only recorded like half of it i mean no I, actually not even half of the thing and basically um it only like recorded um like bandy cam only recorded like I think I accidentally pressed something because it only recorded like a little bit of it. But the good thing is I finished the script, so I probably would, so I like, I wouldn't have to do it again. So at least that's good. So um, because of that, I'm going to put like all of the scripting stuff down in the description if you guys want to go check it out and um, look at it to see what the script is and copy and paste it. Um... Yes, and now, after that, we have to, um, now, okay, so we have to enter, um, a part. Okay, give me one second, so. Okay, there you go. Enter a part, and now we have to get a, f um, a mesh from here. And now the mesh will be um, basically just like what the thing looks like. And okay, so now that's done, we can actually do stuff. And well, first thing we have to do now is to like make what our thing looks like so but like for example if you play right now give it a few seconds um right now uh this is like what our cursor in our mesh thing looks like but we don't have like a um like a old uh, fashioned um cursor that we could use so now, um, so okay, so now we have to go to, um, the Roblox website, and the first thing we have to go to is, uh, create, and I'll send you guys the link to the, um, the thing that I already have in, um, in my library, it's, um, you guys could download it and just, I don't know, make it for yourself. But anyway, all that matters is we have to go to decal. Oh shoot, no, we have to go to my creation. But since I already made it, I have I will go to decal. Um, as you could see, I named my thing yay because I don't know what else to call it. Um, the thing is currently not for sale. I will make this for sale, and I also will leave this down in the description if you guys also want to. Um, so now we have to copy the, uh, the image ID, go to Roblox Studio, 
and now again we have to go um to <clears throat> and again okay so then again we also have to go to um local script and then now we now we have to insert oh shoot okay okay anyway we have to go to uh the of uh, screen gui go to image label right here okay um and now we have to do where is it where is it oh yes um go to image uh, image oh shoot in the image area I have to delete all of these and you could see url so it's obviously um the image right here so if we leave it right here it should work so let's see Oh shoot. I have literally no idea how why that does not work. Um hold on, give me a second. Let me just try to figure out why this isn't working. Okay guys, I am back. And as you could see, um it is working. I mean you guys probably come see it because I haven't actually even tested yet. So, actually, I have tested it, just I haven't did it. I did it off camera. So, um, as you could see, um, yeah, the avatar does load in a bit slow. And now, as you could see, you could click and it works. And it just works as, as like, any other thing. <clears throat> Which I mean by Roblox Studio and games. And old Roblox games... Um, usually like simulators like uh, Super Nostalgia Zone have this so uh, please um, just like the video and subscribe because I want you to go to um, but before you go I want to show you guys what was my mistake and I will leave a link um, to my game that I do all my stuff at for example um, uh, for example, like, uh, where I do all my tests, and you guys could get my, like, my scripts, um, firsthand, um, if you guys want, and then just copy this stuff down and just paste it in your own game, but please like and subscribe for more of these content, and ring the notification bell so you guys always know when I'm doing a video, um, and I will hopefully see you guys next time.